Do you ever wish that you had an instruction manual for all those insignificant moments in your life? Somewhere that answers the questions you've always thought but never bothered to ask. Welcome to Patchwork is here to help you navigate the nuances of everyday interactions. And today, we'll be teaching you how to go grocery shopping. So grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of life. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. The prefix super is used in the English language to say that something is above, over, or beyond something else. A superlative is an exaggerated expression. (laughs) To supervise is to watch over something. If something is supernatural, it is beyond natural. But there is one super which hides in plain sight. (laughs) A super that is often taken for granted, but is essential to our contemporary existence as human beings. A super that caters for us from the moment food goes in till the messy struggle of it coming back out. (laughs) The supermarket doesn't care if you walk past the item you're looking for six times before finally finding it. The supermarket doesn't care if you see the cheaper Dorito salsa in the chips aisle and swap it into your trolley and leave the more expensive old El Paso salsa (laughs) where it doesn't belong. Is that more expensive? (laughs) Every person has their own unique relationship with the supermarket. And today, we're going to explore our own. Let's learn how to go grocery shopping. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thinking when you get that feeling to go to the grocery store, to go to the supermarket, it's in your bones, bones. bones, but there's always a trigger. There's something that makes you go, "Ah, now's the time. Dion, what's the trigger for you? For me, it's like feeling like I haven't been eating well lately and then trying to work it out. And it's like, oh, I don't have any food in my fridge. Lately. Ah. No, no food in my fridge. And it's like, it's that, it it dawns on me, I need to go grocery shopping. So is it like- the fridge, do you go once and you realize oh, I have nothing to make for dinner tonight, or is it like a series of days that you oh. go, Oh, actually, I'm, I'm out? Ah, oh, that's a really good question. It's usually a, probably two in a row where I get by with the emergency meal, yes. mm-hmm. and then the second time I'm like, This is not going to cut it this time. What yeah. about you, Josh? Um, I'm very clear, very easy milk. When that milk oh. is done, I'm like, oh. wow. So you're, so you're going often. I am I drink a lot of milk now, I realised. <laughs> I really? Yeah, because I'll have it with cereal. And then I've started uh, getting this like coffee syrup stuff, like for Ooh. iced coffees in the morning. So I'm like... Oh, That'll yeah, make over you summer. churn through milk. Yeah, right. So I'm having like a glass of milk and cereal every morning. C- can I blow both of your minds? Uh, as I do every episode. <laughs> sure. Long life milk is much better than you think it is. I now basic I exclusively buy long life milk because it tastes absolutely fine. Oh, so it's yeah, about right. the taste for you. Wait, what? What? What is? What, <laughs> oh no, is there a is there a benefit to drinking fresh milk? I, I have no idea. I'm buying only long life because yeah. that's all oh. the, the soy milk comes in. Oh, well, but yeah. I went to the I went to the dentist recently and I didn't realize that yeah, calcium from cow's milk is like dentists are like good on you. Keep that really? Up. Yeah, I didn't. Cl- I mean, I didn't that's rubbish. It. That's big cow. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang big on. Big moo. And- <laughs> <laughs> but why aren't I getting complimented if I go to the GP on how strong my bones are? <laughs> why is it just <laughs> the teeth? Getting to that. That's uh, bullshit. How about how about you, Christian? What's uh, what's your marker? Um, so the prompt for me is fresh food as well. So I'll normally go. I'll dip into the emergency meal. Yeah. I'll, I'll find Which is myself. What? Which is what? Oh, good question. So I'll go for my cans. It's normally like a big soup. So it's oh. like scraps of the veggies. And <gasps> then, and I think what I do is I look in the fridge and I go, these. Oh, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> it's when my salad leaves go funky. Yeah. Yeah. Because I normally buy too many salad leaves because I don't want a roll a sandwich roll to be without salad leaves. But don't you have too many then you're worried about it going off before you get through it all? Yeah, but that's my that's my prompt. I'm happy oh. to, to go, these salad leaves have gone funky, time to head down so to the... See some death in your fridge? Yeah. And going, we got to go. You, yeah. uh, that's probably the ultimate food that you can push the expiry on, don't you reckon? Like yeah, if, it's, if it's two, Yeah, if it's two weeks old and you look at it and you're like, no, no, this is fine. This will not I kill reckon, me. I reckon it's like... A, <laughs> this will not kill me. That's the old special. <laughs> yeah. This will not kill me. He died of salad leaves. <laughs> well, you kind of just wash it, right? You wash the stink off. And the sins. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's not the stink you're looking for. It's the, it's the rotting. It's the rotting leaves. Yeah, it's the wilting leaves. I don't Smell, I don't smell anything. What do you like, mean? I don't yeah. go out of my way to smell anything. <laughs> Are you kidding? Because one of my biggest things. What's wrong with you? How can you like, agree? I don't know what the off thing should smell like. Oh, that, 
can I just say that's almost the dumbest thing <laughs> in 112 patches wait. that you've ever seen. Wait, wait, wait. So what do you, you s- don't know what the off thing smells like. So you walk, always. So let's okay, let's just let's think. Worst case scenario, you walk in and maybe there's like a dead rodent in your kitchen. <laughs> do you think, Josh, that you'll go, "Oh god, something's off here." No, no, no. That's or, not that's- Or will you walk in and be like, but just another ordinary day. Might have, to, up. <laughs> might have to go shopping. No, you're saying that your nose isn't a good determinant for if something should I, remain in the fridge, I including think a I, I think there's too much expectation on my ability to determine that. I, mainly, I think when I was younger, because now I'm I'm better at it, but I still don't go the sniff test. I but, won't bother. But oh. you do, do you not recoil? Um, no, he doesn't oh, if want... it's, like, gross. No, he doesn't want to recoil. I reckon that's why you don't do the sniff test. You don't want to smell something, and I wouldn't want to smell something rotten. You don't. Yeah, you, you, you've had a bad experience. So you're prepared Maybe. to eat the rotten thing and taste <laughs> that it's gone past. Good question. <laughs> Some, one of hang your on, senses hang on. has to be activated. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> why? Eyeballing. Why should it be weird for me to want to? If it is the case, <laughs> for me to want to smell, uh, for me to want to smell something bad over, uh, for me to want to taste something bad over smelling something oh, bad. That's, that's way worse. That taste, wh- taste is way worse. No, because, but why? But because why it lingers. It? It's longer. Why you, is it? Because you put it in your mouth, and you go. Oh, what do I do with this? <laughs> oh, you Whereas can't... smell, it's kind of like Ooh, get quick, it away, quick from away. Me. Do, do you ever try and like uh, get the smell out of your nose? Well, oh, you know what you can. God, it's like yeah. to, it's like if you take a shot and then you have a chaser. The smell one, you can change yeah. that real quick, right? But that's what coffee beans are meant to be yeah, good for, they, right? Yeah, they um, kill neutralize. all the smell. Neutralize. They neutralize the smell. Yeah. Is, is that what you both do? Yeah. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Just got a pile of coffee beans ready to go. Yeah. Decorative not, coffee beans. Is that not why you drink coffee? I thought it was a, cal- a palate cleanser for every <laughs> it's meal. It's for calcium. <laughs> uh, just to go back to the shopping for a minute. Yeah, so, with yes. the lists, we've decided we need the list. Yep. Are we digital or are we physical? Oh, come it's on. It's 2022. I, I have... I have I don't have a traditional shopping list where I go, here are the things that I want to buy when I go shopping. That's a shopping list, all right. Yeah. That's, and I said, that, no, no, wait a second. Oh, like that's a, te- a traditional shopping oh, okay. list. Like a template shopping list. I do list. things a little different. You're a bit more progressive <laughs> with your shopping list. Can I just say, there's been two things that I've learned today that I'll... Uh, first of all, Christian, you adding vegetables to a, to a pre-made soup? Genius. Oh, what? What? I've never even... No, he makes the soup. No, 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 no. You said you got a canned soup. That's your emergency no, meal. And you'll add no, vegetables no, no, to no, it. No, 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 Oh, then I came up with that idea and it's brilliant. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. And what was the other thing? What did you just say? That was genius. What What, what did I just he say? He doesn't have a traditional list. Yeah. And what so, is- oh, the idea of a template... <laughs> the idea of a, The idea of a repeat shopping template shopping list. I've never had that. Oh, like the weekly. This is what I always get. I've never had that. Oh, really? No, because I want something different every time. Well, that's not what I do, but that's a great idea too, <laughs> Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's accidentally invented two great things. Do you do that? <laughs> Always have some form of repeat shopping list. Well, my thing is I'll have a list that notes... Because I, I separate my shopping into kind of two blocks. It's my non-perishables and my kind of monthly shopping. Oh. And then my like when I get to the... What am I going to cook this week? Which Whoa. is all very ad hoc. When I'm yeah. in the supermarket, it's like jazz. I'm kind of like yeah. <laughs> clicking my fingers and whatever I kind of like lean towards, I'll pick that up. Do you know what? I, there is nothing like someone else making a shopping list for you. Ooh, I love that. No way. And no one loves it more than my father. I'm not into that at my all. My dad oh, loves really? going to the supermarket because my mum will carry the mental load, write out the whole <laughs> list. My dad absolutely loves it. He loves it. So it's just like a little uh, bit of an adventure at the supermarket because you don't know what's on the list. I is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just following orders and not using his brain. Yeah, yeah, because. That's all I said. You're a Burke. <laughs> <laughs> I just went and got the shopping I was told to get. That's all I did. They gave me a list of people's names. <laughs> I killed them all. <laughs> um, yeah, but but I think it's because the supermarket for your dad is a sanctuary. It's like yeah. going for a drive, right? Mm. It can be a very it's, peaceful thing. It's a very peaceful and thing. And my, my dad, when I was a kid, he used to go shopping at like midnight, 12.30. Of course 30. he would. Just roll What do you think's happened super- just before 24? he's gone shopping, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Dad's gone shopping again at midnight. <laughs> and so, because it was a 24-hour supermarket. Bet it was. Um, <laughs> and so, it was really easy because 
no one was in there. So he's like, sometimes you'd miss some of the specials, right? Because they're sold out. But yeah. for the most part, the night fillers are restocking everything. It's a very peaceful time. Yes. There's yeah. not many people there. Yeah. And I used to go with him sometimes. And it was it was a sanctuary. It was very, very peaceful. Well, what yes. about they're now introducing those hours at, at supermarkets yeah. for, for people with like neurodiversity and stuff. And so they can have a peaceful time. Do that for the whole time. That's the funniest part Hang about on. it. Turn so, down the lights. So uh, no, we'll start, start that concept all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people, so neurodiverse people, people with autism, they don't love sort of being stimulated. Mm. So for like t- 11 till 12 or 10 till on 11 Tuesdays on, a, on a Tuesday or something, you can go there. They dim the lights, turn off the music. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. how good's that? Do that all the yeah, time. Why, why don't they do that? Oh, because God. I can't sell you more crap. Yeah. Wow, that's a great idea. It's a really great idea. Yeah. It's been done, Christian. It's, it's like the done. ASMR of shopping. <laughs> it no, is. it's like putting vegetables in your soup. It's another idea <laughs> I've had. <laughs> So with my Josh, list, yes, yeah, your shopping well, list. I I find it interesting you have these two separate ones because mm. I just kind of I work in a cycle of probably I'm looking at about two weeks, mm-hmm. so probably about a two weeks, and that includes like probably two dinners, and that's kind of will get me through because oh. inevitably you go out a bit and you do this kind of stuff. Wait, two dinners that and do, do you repeat the like do you warm up the dinner? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. it's like wow, so, so you, I buy what, two dinners. So you, worth. when you're preparing mm. your shopping list, you go, what are my two dinners for the next two weeks? More or less, yeah. Oh wow. Because if I give, if I do more than that, it all goes off. Because I'll, yeah. I'll go out one night or I'll do this thing another night and all yep. of a sudden... You're not big on... The celery's gone. You're yes. not big on freezers though, are you? Nah, I hate the fr- our freezer's too full. Oh, that's Get the your problem. shit out of my freezer. That's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. Georgia, Julia, clear the freezer <laughs> I I am the opposite end of that spectrum, Josh. Love a freezer. Because... Oh. <laughs> no, no. Why? Can Josh store I, his freezer stuff in yours? <laughs> absolutely. My freezer's empty. Oh, great. But I buy fresh, but I buy for like... I think in my head, I'm like, what are the five meals I'll cook this week? End up with Five like meals. four days worth of leftovers. Half of my shit's rotting. I just See? feel yeah. good that it goes in the compost. <laughs> but I've spent the money. Do you have a shit fridge? No, well, I don't know. Well, Who's got a good fridge? I've got a good, good fridge. Fr- a yeah. fridge can change how well your food keeps. That see, that's the thing. I it have can. no idea. It can, a Actually, good fridge, it can last years. Of, uh, <laughs> some chicken, raw <laughs> <or> chicken. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back to life. Um, yeah, no, that makes a difference. And so when I'm making my list, I will like, I will also restock my usuals. I'm very clear on what I'm doing. I've like, I've got the usual things, keep them topped up, a few different cans and that kind of thing. But yep, then it's yep. yeah, it's literally like two meals, two dinners worth. Wow. And that's what populates my list. But it's great having a routine like that. Like, I'd love to have a routine like that. There's, there's, there is no method to my... Oh, I'm you just chuck shit on. Chuck Wait, so shit when on. you're, when you're, before you're going and making that list, what, what is forming the list for you? Mm. Oh, what's forming? Well, it's like a feeling of what I might like to eat. But then if I see something I like in the supermarket, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> I love I love the idea that Dion sometimes <laughs> going to the supermarket when he doesn't need to buy food. <laughs> I might sometime in the future feel like no, eating some food. It, Maybe. On, I honestly feel my way through the supermarket. It's honestly like, it's just wow. like, oh, what do I sort of... Because I don't know when what I'll When you're writing want. the list or when you get there? I don't I don't write a huge list. Great. Yeah. Dion goes when they turn the lights off and literally <laughs> feels his way there. Yeah. So you don't really write a list. You might put a few things, but few you're things. in the moment. Yeah, because I'm like, I need like Christian's jazz shopping. Yeah, yeah. I need like a, a grain and a meat and a veggie, <laughs> and then I need to walk down the middle aisle from mm. Aldi and buy everything. <laughs> ah, so yeah. you go to Aldi? No, no, no. Yes, but <laughs> yes. when you go to Aldi, mm-hmm. do you specifically? Spend money on those nifty gadgets in the center. You're just having a browse. You're okay. just looking around. It's like it's um, it's how, like it's like being at the beach. How many <laughs> visits mm. do you reckon? Every X visits, I probably buy one of the weird shit. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe every three. Whoa, four. But it's what's all, the weirdest recent one? But it's always returned. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. So you. <laughs> <laughs> what was your most recent weird one? Oh, I don't really know. That's I can okay. have a think. Um, I considered I- a fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> fire pits are good. They're yeah. in vogue. Yeah, I know. But you're never going to use them, are you? Imagine, like- imagine someone coming and putting fire pit on their shopping list and be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, every week. <laughs> <laughs> Stop my fire pit. Um, I have a few things that I consider when I do go shopping mm-hmm. and I don't want to prem- prematurely hit the rule button oh. here, but uh, I'd like you to consider them. The things that I consider are my experience with their stock levels in the past. So, when I'm going to a grocery store, I go, hey, have I had a good time getting lots of stock of a particular how, item? How from often this? are you missing out? Uh, a few times for key items. Like, w- like what? Well, for me, like sober noodles. Oh. I like to make a sober noodle salad. 
if they don't have soba noodles all the time, yeah. they're off my list. Do you do you go to another one to get just the soba noodles? Or well, are you like, then, well, the soba noodle yeah, meal is off. Yeah. Well, then I go, yeah, I'll try another one for soba noodles. Yeah, and I will go to a different one. Because oh, wow. I'll normally look at my key items first. That's the first like lap I'm doing of the store is going, hey, my essentials. Really? Multi-lap. Well, there are some things that they, like jackfruit, for example. Yeah. Often a place will not have full stock of them. Okay. Do you go? Would you go frozen jackfruit? I want well the tinned jackfruit like oh yeah I need in brine wait they're running young jackfruit in brine <laughs> they're running out of tin jackfruit yeah that's 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 the because apocalypse. they don't stock that much of it why not it's tinned <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't they stock heaps of it point. apart from space um and another consideration <laughs> is the amount of time I have available to me for that shop. Yeah. Yep. Right. Do you usually tack on the shop at the end of something? End of a night? End of a big it's, night? Yeah. It's it's nor- <laughs> it's normally at the end of a day, which is why stock oh, levels you- are affected. Because yeah. I I reckon that's why I don't go to markets. Because I I'm reactive with my shopping. I'm like I need to go. Yeah. It's now at are critical you though, point. Yeah, yeah. Are you really monitoring? Are you trying to squeeze a shop in to be like oh, I've got that thing later. I've got to squeeze a shop in here. I I don't like to, and I rarely will. I'll yeah. try to give it. You know, I don't want anything after a shop for at least two, three hours. What? Why? <laughs> two or three hours? I like to put the shopping away. How long does it take you to put shopping away? You've got four tins of jackfruit. <laughs> no, but it. then but then you just, you don't want something. You don't want to rush off after shopping. Because what happens if the shop yeah. goes a little bit longer? How, how what's your average, you reckon? I think I come in around 45. Bloody in, hell. In store. Oh, yeah. not that long. Half really? an hour. Yeah. Really? It's pretty good. 28 to yeah. 30 minutes. That's Absolutely. Really good. I don't know what I'm doing and I get out there not knowing what I'm doing. Then I to, no, that's... that's to what, go back yeah, the other yeah, day. That's two lots of 28 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I think I'm about an hour. Yeah. So, so to, to reiterate, amount of time I have, the experience with their stock levels, yep. their range, my experience with their range. So, yeah. hey, do they have a great range of, let's say, vegan hams? Mm. Mm? See, Christian has extra challenges being a vegan. He's got to eat all of this stuff. that Not everything's created equal. He also cares a lot more about food than you and I. That's true. But if Christian wants, like, if I want to go buy a lemon, I just get a lemon from anywhere. If Christian wants to get a bloody vegan, a vegan ham, lemon. he's got to find a good vegan. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to find go for that. He's got to find a good vegan ham, and aren't there some shocking vegan hams? There certainly are, and that's why you have to try them all. I haven't, and I didn't know that, but I was assuming they were. And then, and then also the layout of the shop. So I really like a renovated, a newly renovated. This is supermarket. See, this that's is really so interesting weird. to me. I literally go to the same supermarket every time. Really? really? Yeah, I go to Coles and Barclays. No, there. But, that's it. Yeah. But for, I'm I'm a bit Dion's dad here, and a bit. Your dad pretending to go shopping after a fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I um, thought he was cheating. I didn't think it was a fight. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, I like, I go to a supermarket for the calm, for the experience, on, the joy. Hang on. what Are you going to a major uh, supermarket for the experience of the joy? Because yes. I recommend not doing that. Why? Because they're shocking places to shop. Can I just they're say, shocking. they have, to their credit... They have really refined what shopping is to an art form that I don't feel like I get in the way with other people anymore. The checkouts mm. aren't too busy. I really think that they've like over the years honed in on the shopping experience. It's quite interesting because and I remember longer lines back in the day. Way yeah. longer. Way yeah. longer. Fundamentally, the self-checkout, they're like 20 now. Oh, what my used God. To be four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. And that throughput. Oh, it's through the roof put. <laughs> So, I was scrolling through my phone the other day and I was using Instagram and cool. scrolling and scrolling and my thumb got very sore, but I <laughs> scrolled so far back oh. that I found the account of Marilyn Monroe oh. at oh. Norma's Jeans. <laughs> it's it's a picture. She uploaded a picture of the infamous air vent that uh, she stood over and the caption reads, so lucky my dress flew up and distracted everyone from the wig getting blown off my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag happy birthday, Mr. Bald President. <laughs> uh, that's really interesting, Christian. I was yeah. um, on Instagram as well. I was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I scrolled so much, I got all the way back to Helen of Troy. Oh, oh at, again. At Helen, I don't know. We might have done it before. <laughs> at Helen of Troy 1. <laughs> she missed out. Great. Um, so the photo is just a really close up photo. You can see that the ring light reflection in her eyes, very close up photo of just mm. her face. Hey, y'all. And the caption reads, Hey, y'all. My next makeup tutorial drops tomorrow. Make sure you check it out to get that just launch 1,000 boats look. <laughs> Hashtag no makeup, makeup. Hashtag most beautiful women that ever lived. <laughs> uh, Dion? 
Uh, yes, I was also scrolling on Instagram and I came across the profile of the Greek goddess of love and beauty, Aphrodite, oh. at Tsatsiki Sun Gal 99. <laughs> And this one is actually a sponsored post, oh. and it's a collab with Teeth Whitening Company, Hi Lumi Smile. <laughs> <laughs> and the caption reads, in the absence of the invention of the toothbrush, try Hi Lumi Smile on any teeth you have remaining. <laughs> will, will be recommended by nine out of ten dentists. <laughs> and just at the bottom, at checkout, it says, enter the promo co- code AfroPearlyWhiteys10. <laughs> I was at the supermarket the other day and I went with my partner and we were gathering goods for Thanksgiving. Mm. Thanksgiving is a time to give. And we had a big list, a shopping list, which she had created. It was unbelievable. Mm. It was was in colors and it was in categories, Mm. baking. And it was just, it was, it was it was an unbelievable thing. Anyway, we split off sort of impromptu and we split off and went to get our own things and then mm. reconvened hmm. and then went to get our own things. But there's that time when you go with your partner or you go with someone to the supermarket oh, yeah. and you can't find them. Mm. And my strategy this time was very, very different. So what I did was I went, I was like- Did you have, tro- were you trolley? No, was no trolley. No, no trolley. Oh, so you were the rogue agent. I was the rogue agent. Dual basket? Mm, oh, good question. She had the basket okay. and I was sort of clutching yeah. a lot of things. Only one, no, no trolley, just basket. We, we didn't have a coin. We, oh, we that did, is so we sad. We didn't have a coin. But anyway, so <laughs> I made the decision, look, I think we're probably wrapping up. I'm going to go and line up at the checkout. Great. Oh, damn. And, and, but yeah, it's I didn't, good. I, I like it. And there was one person in front of me with a big shot, but I was like, she might not make it back in time. <gasps> that's, a, that's a dangerous moment. Yeah. So I, wanna, I won't tell you what I did, but I want to know what you were doing that moment. You can't spot your partner. You're looking around. You're like, I want to get ahead. Ooh, I want to get out of yes. the supermarket. I want to wrap this up. What are you going to do? Christian? Okay. First things first, I know my place in the line behind this person at the checkout, right? Yeah. I put a divider up there. Yep. After the divider, I put a few items down Mm -hmm. to save my space. Mm -hmm. Then I am going like a lost child looking for his mum at the head of every aisle. So I just pop my head into the top of every aisle and I skip down that way. No one there. What else do you do? do? Josh. I think... So are we talking about... It's like a casual quest. (laughs) Are we talking about trying to maintain your position in the line or just generally you've lost them? You... Because generally, if I've just lost them, <laughs> you're in the it's, position. <laughs> it's just a very cl- almost like head at ninety degrees. Yep, walking straight down the top. Yep, and my head's just looking, and I'm really paying attention. If I just see a whiff of an arm as they come or go, because you might both it's, pass. That's the worst. You might both pass in the. In w- the would you shelving. yell? Would you yell out? No way. Why? Ooh. Because you have a mobile telephone. Oh. oh! Yeah. Texted her. Didn't reply. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's okay. true. Yeah. Finally made it in time. Just the oh. tail end. I was stressing out a lot. Stressing out, stressing out, stressing out. Made in the tail end. Joined our goods. I paid I, separately. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would never pre- preemptively try to reach the checkout before the other person. It's would you? Good, nah, it's good policy. No, why? Because normally it's like, oh, I've just forgotten that thing, and I'll go get that. I like to do a little summary. Before you hit the checkout, you go, cool, let's revise the list one more time. We've got all of our items here. Let's look over them. We're ready to go. That's a good point. She probably felt rushed. I don't think I'll do that again. (laughs) I once, I was once, we we went went for a drive. (laughs) Could ask her. Went for a drive. We stopped on the side of the road to get sort of marmalade from a self, like a cart, a self-service cart. (laughs) And I was bored. So I got in my car, drove around and waited for her to like come out. I was like, I probably should have just waited. I don't think I can wait. I think there's a rule. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so with your list, Christian, you say you do your little revision. Yeah. How often are you checking your list throughout your shop? Well, like I said, that list that I have is only for the long-term items that need to be replenished. Mm. I don't. I hate that feeling of constantly having to look back That's at hell. the list. It's right? Hell. Yeah. It's oh. unlocking your phone all the yeah. time. It's fucking yeah. annoying. But it's going, I literally looked at it 30 seconds ago and I saw that it said tomato paste yeah. and now I need to see what it says again. Oh, it's yep. t- still tomato paste. See, what yeah. I do, because I am so because I go to the same place all the time, mm. I'm very familiar with my route and the layout. Oh, my oh. God. So, I organise wow. my list and arrange it 
by how I, I walk mean, through the store. That doesn't wow. sound like you at all, Josh. <laughs> so, Josh, what are you doing when you walk in that supermarket? What are you doing? Heading right. Really? But where, where, are you, where are you heading for? Ah, uh, straight to the veggie sausage off the side, and then I'm then I'm sort of crisscrossing. I know exactly. You head right. Yeah. So well, the entrance is on the right. I never right? head right. No, I just go straight. I go, to I the go edge left. Of the store. You go into the heart of the store. No, no you what? work around the flank. Oh, it's almost like we're at different groups. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hang on, to the fresh the flank. Yeah, yeah, fresh yeah, yeah. That's off to the right. Yeah, yeah. No, I it's, always it's left. I, I, <laughs> I always check. Uh, first thing I check is if raspberries are on sale, <laughs> and if they're under four dollars <laughs> fifty, I'm on. Hey, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. It's You're worried that they'll sell out, so you go there first. No, I think it just ex- it's an exciting start. Yeah. I love raspberries. It's an exciting start. Do you do yeah. you if you see that raspberries on special? Do you go awesome? Grab one and then start to eat them. No, I don't reckon I've ever eaten a berry in a mart. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Uh, no grapes. I will. Why? Everyone grapes is like the universal. Yes, one. and we and we've yeah. covered this grapes and peanuts and yeah. whatnot, giving yourself a little, which sucks because it's like they're weighed. So you yes, need of to course. Weigh. So you're easy. That's the whole point. Whereas the punnet, the you get punnet, your snack for free. But the, yeah, but the punnet, you could do that yeah. quite successfully. Yeah. Are you stocking oh. up when you see them below four fifty? Not stocking, just two, just two. It has to that's be a, a stock. That's, that's a no, no, no. You, you, what are you going to do? Stockpile, then they go off. That's what you. Do. That's what I do. <laughs> I said, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm asking for help. <laughs> No, it's it's like for, for me to stock up on something, I think there needs to be... It needs to be a good sale. It needs to be a good sale and something yeah. that I use regularly. So, yeah, when I'm going through this, I'd like to know, do you guys take the same route and the same path? Mm. And the big question, yeah. are you going every aisle or are you skipping through to what you need? Oh, it's a great question. Yes. It's a great question. I'm every aisle. Yeah, I'm every aisle. I'm yeah. every aisle. But I'm do, um, every, every aisle. aisle. <laughs> but do you skip any of the aisles? Do you look at the health section? Nah. Yeah. You know, it's, oh, you know it's really weird? Very good point. Yeah. You know yeah. what's really weird? Sometimes when I go, oh, this isn't as big a shop, I'll just skip this aisle. And then I get out of sync and I'm up when I'm meant to be down and I'm down and oh, it's up God. and it throws me for a loop. Yeah, it's yeah, shocking. So I'm like, just go every single aisle. I, I skip I skip the cosmetics. Oh, I, I was going to say beauty. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and it's always, and I like to call it the pantyhose aisle. Yeah, it's weird, <laughs> because isn't it? For me, I just, it's, I know nothing up there I'll need, but I still go down the pet food aisle because I like it. And you need a pantyhose when what you rob you, a bank. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to see when you're going down the pet food aisle when you don't have a pet? No, I just like going. I just like the idea that there's going to be some pictures of cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do skip. There is a few I skip at the end. What, what do you like skip? The pet food stuff and oh. yeah, the, some of the bacon, but there's the also toothpaste, like the medical stuff. Yeah, if I don't yeah, need yeah. It. it's like that's the, that's the like closest you get to Bunnings in a supermarket. Yeah. It's a much better experience to go to Bunnings, isn't it? Do you reckon there's many people out there milk. that would prefer? <laughs> <laughs> there are many people prefer going to the supermarket over Bunnings. Uh, yeah. Bunnings is like one of those treat places that people end up going. Yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, I'll get that. Why? You buy six things instead of one. What mm. is it? What is it? Because you a see playground. stuff. Yeah, you see stuff that you didn't realize you wanted. Like that's great. It's yeah. it's aspirational. Yeah. Whereas a supermarket is less it's aspirational. Functional. Do they have, functional, do they have yes. baskets at Bunnings, or is it just huge uh, trolleys that are impossible to re- maneuver? <laughs> I can both. I like those big trolleys. They're huge. Yeah, you anchor them with some soil at the bottom. Oh, every time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's comes, good. Comes with it. I don't go to the soil aisle, though. So how about you, Nino? When you're going through, yeah. um, you are hitting every aisle, but yeah. you're conscious of what you need. Because I'll yeah. check. I realise that I'll when I get through like a I'll section- check. I, when I get through a section, I'm like, let's, let's, let's review the list. I'm pretty sure I remembered everything, but let's review the list. Oh, so you mm. go- I do little chunks. So, hang on a second. Uh, you need to clarify this. You know- all the products that you need to buy and which aisles they're in, more or less. So you that's write your list. list. You've ordered your list based on which one you encounter first. How I hit it in the store. <laughs> that on. is. Hang on, hang on, is, hang on. This is that's Josh. Did I not make that Incredibly clear no. impressive, right. but fucking hell, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. That that's you're almost a robot. <laughs> Are there some items sense. you're uh, parsing data? But you at know that what? Point. It's, it's like that thing how they say in mnemonic to, to remember stuff. I'm literally like walking through the store, and then I go, "Oh, that thing's there. That thing's there. Put that up." Hang there. on, but didn't you, you used to stock shelves back in the day, right? Yeah. So you have a oh. pretty good idea of the map of a of a supermarket. Yeah. Well, I've been through that particular one heaps. So it makes sense. But, okay. but Christian, I'm always finishing on your your milk and your butter and your eggs. They're always at the end. But that's great. Ah. But that that approach. That's the way to do it. And you know it, why yeah, it's great? It's gotta be. No, no, that's the most efficient way. I like yeah. to do a, a sweep of the, like a, a loose sweep. 
where I'm kind of <laughs> filling the trolley with most of the things I need. This is so vague. But then... I love this idea of you just kind of skating. Oh, maybe get some of that. What did I miss? Let's go through again. Yeah, I do a second lap. Shocking. No, it's not. It's fun. Dreadful. I think it's fun. That's how I have fun. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> So are you? You're not very thorough. What do you mean? I'm. Jo- no, no. I mean, but that first pass. It's, it's like writing an essay. Hang on, yes. hang on, hang on. Yes. He's not, you did the first. I did the first part. It's, it's shocking. It's literally there. Call like your friends. Can you check it out? <laughs> check my shopping list. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I make sure that I've got the the framework in the first pass, and then it's and then it's the zhuzh. So the second part. And is that like ingredients? Not is that ju- kind of what it is? That's not zhuzh. Like That's just not doing the shopping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Is, is that first pass, the stuff, the pillars of your first yeah. shop, are they like the same way it's the pillar of the meal? Yes. So like it's yes. rice. It's yeah, but maybe I might oh, be going. I might be going for con- like I'll I'll scroll through scroll. I like look <laughs> scrolling, through. scrolling 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 <laughs> the supermarket. I'll look through the um the hot sauces and be like, is there one that I haven't had? Because oh okay, this is yeah. wild to me. Yeah, How about where do you which side do you fall on, Dino? I mean, I, you, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I'm it's just, just a mess. no, it's a mess. It's like it's just walking around. I'm just picking out stuff I like. <laughs> you just get a dart. That's it. You just throw darts down there. Yeah. See what it hits. It's like it's like you, you p- release me into a garden of fruits and vegetables, and I'll just go and pick the stuff that I like, and just <laughs> and that will be different every time. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. And I'll be really frustrated. But do you <laughs> do you go in thinking of food? Oh, thinking of food. Actually, You're I've not- got a different question. Yeah. Do you? Plan to be hungry or full going into shopping. Why do you ask? Because if I'm not going to get cornered like that, Christian. <laughs> well, if I go into a supermarket and I'm hungry, I'll spend maybe fifty Seriously? to hundred percent more Are on you my serious? shopping. One hundred percent more. That is wild. Hang on, what does a hundred percent more mean? I Double. This... <laughs> isn't t- isn't two hundred percent more He's, double? He said a hundred percent more. Hundred percent more. Oh. But 200% is double? 100% of it is 50%, what you would consider 50%. <laughs> so, that is wild to me because yeah, my no, list I always is thought it was double. Yeah, my, list, <laughs> my list is done. Yeah. And the only thing I'll I'll venture on is kind of maybe a, a special thing. Oh, maybe I will get that this little week. Treat, little, little treat. Boy. Maybe it's a little treat. If it's, it's something weird on special. But the fact that that's... Do you know where I get done? Always. I know. If I go, if I'm hungry and I go shopping... Oh. Jeez. Those fresh pitters at the back, those fresh, like yeah. they've just been made, like they're, How I f- guess they're pitter, they're pitter wraps. How fresh? Yeah, right? They're not fresh. They're bakery fresh pitter wraps, right? Really and then we them. have them in the bread section. They look very, very appealing all of a sudden. And, and yeah. so all, when, when you're that hungry, is stuff getting opened? We talked about eating. So yeah, like yeah. as soon as you get home, you're like, give me a In meal. the car. In the car. Yep. What? I will buy, Jesus. I'll always buy like a kombucha. Yeah. And I'm like, that's my kombucha for the car. And oh. maybe like a nectarine, whatever's in season, but like a, a sweet fruit. That's nice. Whatever's in season. Yeah. I think we talked about this briefly before. I suck and I don't pay enough attention to the prices of them as they God, fluctuate. You change. have to. Oh. You know what I would love? And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah. I know they have the per kilo price. Yep. I want a picture of the thing that says, this is $3 worth. Or this is a dollar worth. Oh, Just so I go, that's a good I idea. bought sixteen dollars of Brussels sprouts. Oh, <laughs> too much. Yeah, yes, yes. And I got there and I was like, and I wanted to go, ah, oh, it's way too much. But better than this, instead of the picture, what if they had above every single little uh, 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 platform where they're there hosting the food? Yeah. What sentence is that? <laughs> <laughs> a bag, a, a classic bag that is like, uh, this is a hundred grams, and everyone yeah. has a hundred grams. And you just go, okay, cool. This is a terrible no- idea. You just want to know. But you don't want to, yeah. I want a visual representation. If I'd got a normal bunch of these things, yeah. what's that going to cost me? Because I can't handle the Yeah, because like capsicum, right? Imagine that they just, they show you like the, the end of the capsicum. What? No, no. I'm, the I, what I want them is to put two capsicums in <laughs> yeah. and go, that's $7. And you go, yeah. cool, not buying capsicums today. <gasps> yeah. Or you have two pictures of capsicums. Go, that's a dollar. I'm like, awesome, I getting yes. capsicums. But yeah. there's, some, there's, some, there's some vegetables that you can trust, fruits that you can trust. You're not being shelled from green beans. I don't know what that means. But uh, you're not, <laughs> green beans, you buy green beans and it's never a surprise. You say in price-wise. Yeah. I don't buy green beans. I can't, I can't comment. It'd be $3.20. But there's some vegetables out there that are not pulling their weight. Capsicum's gone capsicum. wild. Capsicum is nuts. Do you know an interesting thing about capsicum? Apparently the red capsicums are not a different variety. They're just, they just take longer to grow. Yeah. Because they're red. Yeah, it's great. No problem. So because they're red. Also, <laughs> <laughs> what an explanation. That's so dumb. Sorry to use that. That's so dumb. Does that mean your jumper used to be green? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I'm going 
red. <laughs> <laughs> Really, really good. You know what's really, really good? Really, really good. You know what's really, really good? It has been quite a while since we've done one of our favourite segments. You know what's really good? Forgetting to set an alarm, but naturally waking up moments before it would have gone off. Oh, really, really, really good. good. Really, really good. good. Really good. You know what's really good? When the thing you want to eat immediately at the supermarket is reduced to clear. Oh, really, really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Do you know what's really good? When you go to frame a photo and realise you have an existing frame that fits the photo perfectly. Oh, really, oh, really good, good, really good, 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 really, 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 good, really good. good. You know what's really, really good? Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Welcome to Patchwork. We've been Welcome to Patchwork. And man, <laughs> you've been amazing. Yeah. Thank you, New York City. <laughs> uh, not a lot of rules this week. Not a lot of formal rules. No. But I reckon probably 50 to 60 informal rules. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> uh, we covered some good stuff. Uh, how, to, how to formulate your list, I think. Yep. Yeah, well. yeah. Our strategies for when we get to the supermarket. Mm-hmm. I turn left. Josh, you go right. <laughs> Dion, you go for the raspberries. <laughs> And then when you're shopping with someone, how do you find them? Just send them a text. Yeah. And wait! <laughs> uh, Josh, you're a bit of a robot with your shopping list. Yeah, I think ordering your list in a way that makes sense to you is key, so you're not spending so much time scrolling through that list. Whereas Dion and I, we're a bit, we're a bit lost, we're a bit jazzed. Free, I think free. it's also good to know that we all avoid certain aisles. Get rid of the beauty idol <laughs> aisle. Get rid of the uh, cat and dog aisle. Yeah, Just question. keep the pictures. <laughs> uh, we also have Twitter... Instagram, YouTube, and, and Facebook. YouTube's the one that's sort of leading at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Twitter's gone to Top shit. Pick. I hope Musk doesn't buy YouTube. <laughs> 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 um, but all of our episodes are on YouTube in visual form. Mm-hmm. Josh is doing an incredible job. Yep. Of Thank that. you, Josh. Josh is editing it all. But Josh needs food. Yeah. <laughs> the best way to sustain Josh in his efforts to edit this show, yeah. audio and video, is to become a Patreon. If you like to listen to us, if you like to watch us, either or, please go to patreon.com forward slash welcome to patchwork. We are going to be shifting the tiers soon. You yeah. Much more expensive. You, <laughs> you can be a patron for two Australian dollars yeah. a month. And what can that buy you, Christian? Oh. A Patreon subscription. Coffee. <laughs> That's what it can. Coffee. Can't, no, nah, you, you can't, can't even buy anybody coffee. You can't even get it. You oh, can get oh, one oh. mate. 7 Eleven. Oh, now, yeah. 7 Eleven yeah. coffee. Yeah. yeah. One, that one 7 Eleven coffee you buy every month could go to supporting this show. Love the show. Please pay. It'd be <laughs> lovely of you to do it. Great. You Love- might notice there's no ads. Mm. Oh, yeah, no ads. The only revenue stream is you guys. So please. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> we we want to we wanna aim end of the year 100. Yeah, let's aim. Yeah, aim. That'd be nice. Aim tall. <laughs> <laughs> And as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh! What patch did you sew? Thank you, Dion. <laughs> My patch this week is Christian shopping at Coles during their jazz shopping hour every Friday night at 11 pm. The lights are down and they play Scatman on repeat. <laughs> Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you, Josh. This week I sewed into my patch, little boy Josh, looking out his window with a tear in his eye as he watches his dad go grocery shopping for the fourth night in a row. (laughs) (laughs) And Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Christian deciding he'll only visit the supermarket between 9 and 10 on Tuesday nights, and it's because... He has to rehearse, and he has to rehearse for the first season of Dancing in the Isles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to Welcome to Patrick for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>